Um, we've got Tara on the line now. Um, hi, Tara. Hello. Hi, good morning. So this is about your daughter. So this is all started up. It's after, your tw after her 12th birthday, she posted a picture of herself and her dog, and she got some really vile yeah. messages. She did, yeah. It, it was just something that she likes to do. It was her and our dog and stuff, because we had the dog from when she was, like, four weeks old. Um, and obviously, when our dog turned two, she just posted a really nice picture of them both, and then she had a really, a really good few positive ones, and then afterwards she had like really negative ones. Mm. And then after that, she had some private messages coming through, and she'd come up to me, and I said, "Look, you don't accept them. You don't mm. know who they are, so just leave it." Mm. Um, and some of the things that were on there, it was so vile. Mm. Um, I can't even repeat what they were. Um, she said they're crying. She's been sticking to my room on the night time. It, I had to take her, um, take her to school myself, and I shouldn't be doing that. She's she's now twelve, and I, and I shouldn't be walking her to school. But also, a more more sinister turn. She's um, started to harm herself. She, yeah, she did, yeah. yeah. Okay, all right, so. so... Well, it's a complicated story, and I'm really sorry to hear that. Again, uh, you know, a nice picture of, with your dogs. I mean, I've got two dogs, and I put up posters and pictures sometimes, and people go, oh, they're lovely. So this is very unfortunate that's happened to her, because it was actually just an innocent thing that she was doing. But there are some other things that you can do to lessen the, the self-harm. Um, I was picking up some tips from you earlier about the idea that um, you can use an um, elastic band that you ping that stings a bit, but it's not as damaging as self-harming so you take down that while she's going to get some help that's or you quite controversial advice that, it is. is yes but you see if children are you, are you are... encouraging it no well, no i'm not encouraging no 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 is it is that that, that in general encouraging? but you know taking it down the the idea and also trying to get I, my work is all about trying to get the root yeah. of the cause well, yeah. what is causing that and also sometimes definitely again come off some of these people who are these people they're not your friends yeah. this idea that we're obsessed with likes and friends that are supposed to be friends they are aren't friends are they on social media so block them and don't have them keep time off and I'm a great believer in trying to get a balance between mm -hmm. online and offline activity so you build your self-esteem offline sometimes you only select the people who are your real friends to be chatting to on some of this social yeah. media build your child's confidence from the inside out mm -hmm. you we, know we actually find all too often that a lot of young people are posting selfies on social media because they're looking for that validation mm -hmm. to feel good about themselves mm -hmm. it's problematic because if they're not given that validation or even if they are, which is short-lived, it can really affect their self-esteem. We're seeing higher rates of eating disorders, body dysmorphia. It can have huge mental health issues. And that's why parenting, I think, right from the beginning, my work is all about self-esteem for children and working with your child and keeping open communication, noticing how you talk about your body, how you explain things, and you talk and teach them to build their inner confidence, helps them to become more resilient mm -hmm. long-term around all these difficult is issues. Is it possible to teach a thicker skin? In school, to say well, that if you are, if mm. you are, if this is happening to you, then it's not you. It's, it's very important it's that them. message because I know we've we've said mm. you know you can you can look at the the comments section of some mm. online newspapers. You mm. could post a, a, a picture of a of a basket full of kittens mm. and they'd all go yeah. mad or there'd be vile comments. Mm. Mm. I always say that I if it was my mum or my sister or one of my best friends saying it to me, then it would hurt me because I care what their opinion is and what they yeah. say. Anyone else. I don't care. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're going to yes. say something nasty. It doesn't matter. Well, I teach the technique. Uh, imagining it's the red arrows going flying over your head, so it actually just doesn't touch you. It just goes. That comment just goes whoosh. Well, but that's easier said than done. But yeah. that is trying to teach children not to pick up on each and every comment that people make. The narrative of bullying has been wrong for a very long time because if somebody's physically attacked, for example, we say, "Oh, they were bullied because they're in a wheelchair." Actually, let's look at that twelve-year-old kid who's going into school being physically violent towards other kids. He's going home, his dad's beating up his mum, there's aggression at home. There's always a root issue, and actually understanding that root issue and helping that 12-year-old kid overcome that prevents the bullying from happening in the first place. We don't need to brand them as bullies and demonise them and punish them, because the chances are they probably have a lot of negativity going on yeah. in their lives. I think the school and the home need to work together. You need to talk with the school to see what they're also doing too, because nobody should be bullied.